Hi guys. Um, yeah, my spending freeze did not last very long, but I actually planned this out. So I'm really excited about what's in this box. So let's open it up. Um, this is how I open uh, letters right now. Uh, my friends back in college found a little store and bought a bunch of weird weapons. Um, and this one just got given to me. Um, it's just one of those things that I've had sitting around my house. And I was like, I don't even know what I can do with this. And uh, yeah, I'm using it to open boxes right now. <laughs> it is, it's my letter opener. Um, and yes, it is sharp, even where I hold it. And yes, you can laugh at me when I cut myself, which I definitely will eventually. But not today, apparently. Box, box, box. <gasps> Paper! Nah. Yes. Gouache. I am so excited. Ooh. So. If you have watched my other videos at all, you might have noticed that I tried out art my Arteza gouache, which is the first time I've tried it out in a couple of years, and it did a portrait in it, and I really liked it, but I remember from when I was learning watercolor that I did not know how different, like how big the gap was between student grade and professional grade watercolor. It is a game changer. And can you make good art with student grade materials? Yes, you absolutely can. But if you can afford nicer materials, uh, go for it. So this is the Royal Talons set of five mixing colors. Um, whoop. And this <laughs> is the My Merry Intro set. So I got those, and I've been waiting for these to come. Boop. Because I ordered these and got them last week. So the M. Graham Basic 5 Color Mixing Set. Can you see this? Yes, you can. And the Holbein 5 Color Mixing Set. I've done a lot of digging trying to find these on YouTube, like really good comparisons. And you can find like reviews of a single thing, but it's really not super easy to even find that. And I'm, yes, you're the cutest, I know. I'm really looking forward to digging into this and doing like my first impressions and like how these compare to Arteza. Um, yeah, so if you, have any questions about gouache that you feel like aren't getting answered or you just want to ask them again or there's something that you want to see me try to accomplish with these I would love to hear about it I bought these because I really wanted to figure out I am sure that all of these are good quality gouache but I want to figure out which one works for me and to some extent, you can't learn that from reviews. You can just kind of go, well, I don't know. I, I'd still like to try it myself if I can. So yeah, um, and I think we'll do some swatching now, right? That's what you do. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of voiceover in this video because there's a lot of swatching and it was honestly like, three hours of swatching so yeah if if you're watching right now you'll notice i'm already running into some pretty big issues with this my merry gouache it doesn't really get a lot better but the cadmium red that you're seeing kind of taking over the palette right now is definitely the worst offender but cadmium cadmium red and the yellow and the green and the burnt sienna which, yes, did explode everywhere. Um, I had problems with all of those. Oh 
my gosh. <sighs> There's totally a stink bug drinking my water. <laughs> Well, hi guys. Uh, I had my video turned off. So here's how far I've gotten. I said a bunch of stuff about things, about these colors. Yeah. Uh, and for those of you wondering, We do still have an audience. He's right there, hanging out, watching us. This is just more swatching. I hope you guys don't mind that I sped this up. Seriously, it was... Nobody wants to sit through a three-hour swatch-a-thon. Although I admit that I have watched swatch-a-thons that are just several hours long because it's nice to just have in the background while you're painting. So maybe someday I'll do that. But for now, I'm speeding him up. Just out of curiosity, do you guys like to swatch? Or do you just consider it a necessary evil? Or do you just not swatch and you just kind of work things out as you go? I'm really curious, so let me know. Here's the tragedy that is my palette after swatching these colors. And here are the colors. I don't know if this is dry. Did it dry like that? I'm gonna, I'll come back to that. But they look streaky. Um, I still love this. Yellow and black makes that beautiful. Oh, right. So I was doing uh, color, color plus white, color plus black. Uh, I think that was part of the video that I, oops, then didn't actually hit record. Um, yeah. So um, I hope these dry better. Like, maybe they're just not dry. I mean, those you can see aren't dry yet. But I also really love that um, blue shade there with the black. It's really nice. Um, and here's more of the disaster that got everywhere. Yeah. Anyways. Well, okay. Some things happened. And essentially, it is this. Dick Blick sent me a new set of my Mary Gouache. Um, and this, these are the swatches for that set. Um, and, uh, I got to the black. It is dry and rock hard and horrible. So I'll be sending that back and, um, just getting a refund. Um, I honestly think that my Mary is probably a really good gouache. I, I, I did a lot of research on this brand before I bought them. Yeah, so I would just, if you want to try my Mary, do not get them from Dick Blick. I don't know what's up with their stock, but yeah, like this is a nightmare. <laughs> Which, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. Maybe I shouldn't be so dramatic. It's not a nightmare. It's just a really annoying dried tube of gouache. So I'll be sending that back and getting a refund. Um, and since I'm here, uh, look at this pretty flower I made. with. So I really hate wasting paint. So this is just left over my Mary gouache from the swatches I did. And yeah, I honestly, this is probably a really nice gouache. Um, yeah, I kind of too bad that the uh, plaque was dried out, and I just can't bring myself to try again. Thank, thank you, cat. All right, uh, moving on. Okay, so that happened, and now we're moving on to Holbein. I'm not gonna let that ruin my night. Um, 
Yes, so Holbein, the five color mixing set, boop, boop, uh, does have PY74 in the primary yellow, which is a non light vest color of yellow, unfortunately. Also, it comes with this interesting little chart. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at them. They're so beautiful. They are so beautiful. Um, and now I'll actually swatch them and see how I feel about them after I do that. Hey guys, so basically anything that could go wrong in this video kind of did. So very soon you're going to see that I finished the Holbein swatches after my power went out. But for some reason I wanted to record it so that you guys could share the full experience of swatching these Holbein paints with me. But I wanted to let you know that was coming up. I do narrate the whole thing so you'll know what's going on. And yeah, you should, you know, feel free to mock me. Because I do. <laughs> <laughs> Swatching in the dark cause my power went out. I swear that's like a dark blue. <laughs> I just don't want the gouache to dry on the palette while the storm's going on. So I'm doing this quick even though I can't see anything really. Like I'm surprised this is a lot lighter than it looks in person. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And just do the black. Just gonna do the black quick. Yeah, you can kind of see that that's a dark blue now. Yeah, I know this is super weird, but I'm getting it done. It's happening. This is what it looks like outside, if you want to see. Gosh, it looks like nothing. But, like, it's so dark in here. <laughs> and then I think we're done. I have no idea. <laughs> that looks really blue. I have no idea if I accidentally grabbed blue instead. And done. All right. Woo, I swear I will put up actual footage of these swatches. Well, hello again. It is now a couple days later. Um, we survived the storm just fine. Uh, here's what my Holbein swatches look like. Yeah. Uh, right now, boop, we're going to do M. Graham. I just, I love looking at the tubes in their little tube bed. And then I will put their little blanket on. you got to put the blanket on starting at the feet. Oh my gosh, never mind. I can't put a blanket on. There we go. All right. Then you put their little blanket on. And they say, good night. <laughs> All right, swatching. Actually swatching now. All right, so, and I know I said this before, and I'm just gonna say it again. Uh, the first one is just the regular color with nothing in it but the base color. There's no, not even water in that yet. And then I get it wet. Oh my goodness, guys, seriously. This red is so nice. Why aren't you flying fast? <sighs> I'm gonna have to get a red that color that is actually light fast. All right, uh, and then we do after a very thorough brush cleaning so that I will stop getting paint in my white, we do a tint, which is the color 
mixed with white. Guys, if you don't have one of these butcher trays, you should, ooh, no, no, no water. No water on my brush, okay. You should definitely think about getting one. I love painting. My desk is not that big, but I really love um, using them as a palette. It's nice. I probably should have cleaned that more, huh? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. There's like a skill to swatching and I am not skilled in that skill yet. I'm working on it. Okay. Yeah, it's still too wet, but we're gonna run with it because honestly it's really nice out right now and I wanna go paint in my backyard and see if I can get my um, tripod set up in a way that I like to actually paint at it instead of just leaving it in my house. These dry super fast. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've noticed the other ones drying this fast, but maybe it's less humid today? Nope. Actually, I really think M. Graham paints just dry a little bit faster than other gouache. I, I can't blame the humidity or anything else because the uh, Royal Talons didn't have that same issue. Not that it's an issue. I mean, like, it could be a benefit if you happen to like a faster drying gouache. And I mean, like, if you're out in the field, that seems like a could be a plus if you're trying to get something done fast. All right, so here's the M. Graham. They were lovely to paint with. They did dry fast though. Um, and I will say that there's definitely, this is slightly cooler than it's showing on screen. Yeah, these colors are slightly off. But, oh my goodness, they don't, like, there is, there are no streaks there at all. They are so pretty. All right, my art friends. We have made it to Royal Talons mixing colors. These are all light fast. Anything that is not light fast, I put a little asterisk next to it. That is really hard to say, just so you know. Put a little asterisk next to it. Yeah, my face doesn't make, want to make those sounds. Oh, oh. There is brown stuff. You probably can't see that, but there's a little bit of brown stuff, which I assume is binder. I was just thinking, what else could the brown stuff be? Bears. Brown bears. Hiding in my gouache paint. They could. They're sneaky. That's a nice yellow. No binder problems there. These are 20 milliliter tubes, too. These are honking big. Whoop, there is a binder separation problem there. That I bet you could see. Let's see. If we can help you to see what I see. Yeah, you can see that. That stuff. That's fine, we'll just mix it up. So this video was actually a little bit complicated to compile and edit. So I hope I don't repeat myself a whole lot. I'm trying really hard not to, <sighs> but this was, this was a beast. Uh, I really liked honestly all of these paints. Even the second set of my Mary, I think might be okay. I bet my Mary's a great paint, and I know I've said that several times in here because I feel bad for saying that they were both awful. <laughs> I 
But hey, if they sent me a new set from the factory so that it got to me and it wasn't gross, then I would be all for trying it again. But for now, I just could not recommend that paint to anybody. These Royal Talons, however, were lovely to work with and they had a really nice consistency. They were a little bit more liquidy than the others, but not, I don't want to say liquidy because that brings something like, it look, it sounds like it's not okay. They were just a little bit creamier in their consistency and I actually think I might enjoy that. I do think their white is a little bit less opaque, at least in this set. Look at everything we accomplished. Look at all that swatching and the giant mess. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely tell how streaky that is still. Is that yellow shiny? No, I don't know why the yellow looks shiny there, but it is not. I promise you it is matte. Um, but like this never stopped being streaky. Um, yeah, I I think I might be okay with that burnt sienna, except like the tube exploded. Uh, yep, and here's Holbein with some cat hair. Yeah, that's interesting. That yellow looks shiny too. It's just catching the uh, texture of the paper. It's not actually shiny in any way. Um, M. Graham. Dude, I really love that red. I'm so sad that it's not light fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a red that looks like that that's actually light fast. Um, yeah. So, I mean, obviously, I have not painted with any of these enough to form anything but the most basic of impressions. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're done. We're done. Uh, my phone died. Like, the battery went to 3%, and it was, like, crying. So I, I had to go plug it in. Um, yeah. So, I made some kind of strange decisions. I decided that I wanted this warmer red. Oh, my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Yep, it's a warmer red. Um, enough especially for sketchbooking, that I would just deal with it for now because I am not buying more stuff right now until I use up some of all this craziness. Um, and also because I want to like work with this palette and see what I need before I go spend more money on stuff. Yes, it's a good plan, me. We'll see how that works. Um, so I do have one color in this palette. Yep. It is not light fast, and it's that nav, nav full red from uh, M. Graham. Um, and this might surprise some of you after watching this video, but I did put a couple in here from my Mary because I really do want to give them like a really fair chance. Um, and I, it 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 could it could be fine, or it could be a train wreck. Either way, I didn't have a green or a burnt sienna because I got mixing sets. So that made sense for me to not have those colors, but I also know that when I am out doing plein air, I'm not going to have a lot of mixing space because, uh, yeah, that this is my mixing space. It's tiny. Um, also, I'm really sorry that my phone died because it's super satisfying to watch palettes getting filled and look at those happy little blops. Um, I do have to like reorganize, but. <sighs> I'm so upset. So, both of the My Mary colors, you can see there's the emerald green and there's the burnt sienna. They have liquid in there. I'm, I'm going to do some more research um, and sometime in the future, I'm going to do a whole painting just with My Mary. I'm going to give them a fair ch chance to like convince me that they're not awful. Um, uh, and I am going to do some more digging to see if, if other people are having this problem. Um, yeah. 
And uh, I put a couple different whites in. This is the Holbein, and this is the Royal Talons. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was really hard for me to just not put all of the Royal Talons stuff in here. I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be what I like the most, which is fine. Um, I mean, like, actually, that would be great, because from what I can see, they're very reasonably priced, and a lot of people are really impressed with the quality. And if I'm remembering right, the Royal Talons is the only one that had only light, fast pigments. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check on that. Yeah, I did in fact say that earlier. Uh, yes, I, I am covered in burnt sienna again. Yes. Um, yeah, so Royal Talons, like, I appreciate that they set me up with a set that every single color is light fast. So, and again, I'm gonna type all that out for you guys and put it in the description. So, let me know in the comments if you've tried my Mary, if, if you've tried any of these. Uh, honestly, I'd like to know your opinions. I love that these are already settling in. Look at them. They're so happy. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm going to go watch a video to make sure I'm setting this palette up right so that it doesn't dehydrate because I really want to work with squishy, happy gouache. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Say goodnight to the M. Graham tubes. Good night. And uh, have a great week.